Hey team, I'm in an attic right now and we've got kind of an interesting uh, situation where I've, I've have three different kinds of insulation visible and two of the three aren't as common. So we've, I've got uh, cellulose loose insulation and then also silva wool, which basically looks like sawdust and vermiculite um, insulation. And I'm in, this is in a 1920 home. So um, they've just added different kinds over the years, but I'm gonna turn the camera around now and, and show you what those three different kinds look like. Yeah, it's really nice to see the contrast of the, of the three different kinds side by side. So here we are. Um, this is the cellulose insulation, which is very common. It's a good, good insulation kind. Um, it's basically ground up, ground up cardboard and newspaper and all sorts of other cellulose debris. And uh, you sometimes even see little pieces of like newspaper clippings and stuff in it. And then next to that, this this stuff is called silva wool, and it actually is like a ground up wood wood chips. And you'll see that in older homes sometimes. And then next we have the vermiculite insulation, which in this case looks like it's down in the wall cavities and it may be underneath some of the other insulation types, but it basically looks like kind of a, a gravelly looking kitty litter type thing. And it does, um, it is fairly well known to have asbestos in it. So if you ever come across that type of insulation, you just want to do your best not to disturb it. And if, if you have vermiculite insulation in your walls or attic, the EPA recommends just not disturbing it, leaving it undisturbed and or professionally removed. So um, it, it's a good effective insulation type, but there is of course potential health concerns with asbestos, especially if you start tearing into walls and ceilings. So vermiculite, silver wool, cellulose loose blown in insulation. Thank you.